Hey guys and welcome to the review episode of episode number 6 of The Escape of the Seven Resurrection, which is season 2. <laughs> I'm going to say that always. No, I'm, uh, I, I guess I'm not, but um, yeah, wow, what an episode. We lived through so many things. Let's start with like the one thing which was kind of hovering always a bit um, from the start actually. From the start, I, I really had the feeling. But then... With the time flowing... Um, like, flowing through... I into the future, into the next episodes, I was like, hmm, maybe, maybe not. Maybe... Uh, maybe he's a decent guy. The, the, the speech is all of... Uh, Chan Song. Chan Song. Fang Chan Song. The CEO of SAFE. Uh, from the beginning, when he was first introduced, he was like, huh, I'm in Toyok. <laughs> you know? Uh, and he was not really empathizing. Um, with him. But then he kind of in integrated himself into the, this whole shit. Uh, he had like the backstory with that he was kinder into Monet. Um, he then saw Monet with K. Uh, he also was working with Kumilai together, who was like playing Medusa. And I was like thinking about it. And I was like, maybe he's like, uh, maybe he obviously uh, wants like his own thing and that's Monet. Maybe he still just wants her still. Um, but actually, no. He does not want Monet. Uh, he does not want to help Mindoyok. Um, and he is not even like on the same side with K. He's like a third party and he's like a third party who's like literally completely playing for his own good uh, he wants to destroy K but with his own power he wants himself growing to the top in first place and Yeah, for that he want, uh, wants Iriso's uh, key to Luca. He wants Luca. Because with Luca, uh, he can, yeah, I guess, uh, achieve to build something. Um, to kind of control the whole world, right? I guess it's something like that. So it's something something in that direction um and so he's using monet he is uh, kind of using medusa as well maybe we don't know how medusa and he actually connected to each other but maybe it's like maybe they are using each other you know, maybe it's something like that. Um. <clears throat> yeah, we had a little show, just a little, 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 little show on. Um, Midoyok told Monet to be like, like that, that uh, Chan Song is a um, dangerous person. Mm, he saw that. That they met. <laughs> so yeah, his like whole facade now breaks crazy, uh, basically, and yeah, he wanted to suppress Monet. And at that time, Mindoya came and uh, took the fight. He took the fight with uh, Chan Song.
And yeah, let's see what's happening now, right? Kitak at the same, uh, in the, like, like in, the, in the same situation, um, had like already the guess that it was Kimurai, Kimurai uh, mm, but now he kind of confirmed it. And we had a little, once again, like a little, uh, a little watch like into Kimurai, why she had like this turn. We saw the video why she once again thought about like her doings and like like why was it wrong and stuff um and yeah it's still a bit i don't know that, that this is like the um That that was the moment where she turned. That's kind of, kind of, kind of. That's kind of a thing. I don't know. It's a bit. It's a bit forced, but overall fine. Um, Erika cannot play the world anymore, so it's uh, now basically Hana playing the role of um, Monet's kid. <laughs> which is wow um and yeah Kamurai made the move for Chuda and uh I actually forgot his name Cholwo Cholwo or something like that him, like the detective. Um, yeah, she just bet one of them in one episode, letting him losing losing her her love of the life, made him again being like a drug. Uh, like we're getting into drugs. Um, she even like put him something there to to seduce him to do this <laughs> um, and what else right uh, Chang Chin Mo is on play 6 of the candidate from the candidates of like being a mayor. I don't know if there was already something like made by Kumrai mm, for that. But yeah, let's see. Cause Yeah, it was surprising. It was surprising. Everything worked out for them, how they planned it. They acted well. And still he's on six. So let's see what's what's happening there. Though K also uh, led Chinmo into his plans with like the whole uh, Kagok district, he wants to make like a data, s like like a whole data center city kind of thing. Um, but obviously, both of them wants to destroy the other one. Uh, yeah. So nothing changes, really, about that. I'm really interested how to see how this is going to continue. We are still going again a bit further to the halftime of the series, which is episode number eight. I'm super curious which, which like uh, change up there will be in episode number uh, until episode number eight. I guess we kind of climax at the moment. If you if you think about it, uh, it's always like that. Um, K dramas are working fast, and I'm so impressed that it's always like that that fast. Like with Kitak now finding out, um, Chan Song revealing his like his real um, intention, kind of. Um. 
And here we are, episode number six. So we have seven and eight left. So all cards are kind of on the table now. And I guess we have to. We are going to have the next, uh, or the first climax in like the next two episodes. Um, really looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, then see. Let's see what's happening. Um, guys, thanks for watching with me this episode. Uh, tell me in the comments what do you think about this episode and. Yeah, if you watched this year on YouTube, don't forget to check out my Patreon link that is in the description. There you can um, watch me uh, reacting to the whole episode, um, the whole length. And yeah, it's always uh, uploaded on Wednesday and Sunday, uh, one day earlier than the review here on YouTube. And yeah. Tell me in the comments what, you, what do you think about this episode and see you in another video. Bye guys.